It's one of these motorcycles that you can pen on a napkin and people will recognize the silhouette. You know, that's sort of the proof of any good design that's lasted the test of time. And I think this is a motorcycle that certainly falls into that category. My name is Brad Richards. I'm the Vice President of Styling and Design at Harley-Davidson. Iron 883 was born in 2009, came out of this dark custom idea. It was time for another note to come out of the amplifier, so we decided to you know, dip the bike in some darker finishes, which really changed the personality of the motorcycle, make the bike feel a little bit more sinister and give it a little more presence. When thinking about the silhouette, there's a really beautiful line that goes down to the tail of the, the top of the fender. You can see it in the seat, you see it in the backbone of the fuel tank. I mean, it just comes with boatloads of character. The texture of the engine note, the vibration in the handlebar, the solidity of the ride when you're on the motorcycle, these things all just come together in a really compelling way at a very affordable price. Iron 83 has come from you know, a place in our past, Sportster and XL, which of course is 1957 and traces its roots all the way back to the K model for the silhouette. There's a purity in the design. It's got very clean lines, which lends itself to customization really well. It's a motor, a frame, two wheels, and a seat, and a pair of handlebars, and it's very simple. That's why people use them too for so many other things. They become customs, they become race bikes. You know, the bike when it was made in 57 was the original superbike. The Sportster was the first unstreamlined motorcycle to go over 200 miles an hour at Bonneville. So there is this great lineage of racing history. The essence and the character of the motorcycle is really what I think draws people to Iron 83. It really gets you back to the core roots of what the brand stands for and what it is to ride a, you know, a Harley Davidson.